Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk to you about a few small concerns I have about World of Warcraft Legion, as I've been playing the alpha for a bit now and there's a few things that are bothering me in the back of my mind. Now just bear in mind that I'm not hating on WoW, I will still be playing Legion at launch and I'm pretty sure it'll be a better expansion than Warlords. I just want to give my feedback so far because it's not too late for some things to be changed. The first thing that really bothers me are the numbers in Legion, they're absolutely ridiculous and we've previously been told that we won't be getting another number squish this expansion. I did a few dungeons as a healer scaled up to level 110 with basic entry level stats and I had over 1 million health unbuffed, which I find to just be crazy and tanks are sitting around 1.5 to 2 million health. The actual damage numbers themselves are also pretty insane too. I don't understand how we've got to this point. I thought the number squish in Warlords was to prevent this kind of thing because past a certain point the numbers in the game just become meaningless and clutter up the screen. I know it's not really a big deal as the damage you do will always be the same in terms of percentages, but smaller numbers just feel easier to digest and work with. I think one way Blizzard can help stop the numbers getting so out of control is by making the tiers overlap a bit more and reduce the overall item level gain throughout expansions. In Cataclysm we gained 70 item levels in 3 raid tiers, in Mop we gained 109 item levels in 3 tiers, and in Warlords we gained 105 item levels in 2 raid tiers. Notice a pattern here? One issue I can see with the ever increasing item level gaps between raid tiers is that it makes returning to the game a lot more daunting for players that decide to go on a break. I myself raided on my druid in Warlords up to midway through Blackrock Foundry and got to about 686 item level which at the time was good enough for most heroic groups. I then decided to take a break from raiding for a few months and tried to return a month or two into Hellfire Citadel. With the massive ramping up of item levels into the next tier, I struggled to be accepted into groups and eventually decided not to even bother raiding in 6.2. The final number related thing that slightly bothers me is I think it sounds so stupid to say I'm level 110 and from a new player's point of view how fucking long does the idea of leveling from 1 to 110 sound? Now I know that in reality it doesn't take that long but new players don't know that. I can see it just being a bit of a deterrence for people thinking about getting into WoW. The next issue I have with the game is kind of subjective and there's nothing that can be done about it at this point, but in Legion it makes me cringe so damn hard when we're referred to by important characters as the Chosen One and one of the greatest heroes in Azeroth. I really miss the days when story wise we were all just a bunch of adventurers exploring the world. It's almost like Blizzard have gone out of their way to make everyone feel like a special snowflake. In Warlords we were known as commanders of our faction and now we're the chosen one. For me the most cringy part of the artifact quests are when we go back to our class order halls and have a big group of NPCs dance, cheer and clap at us. Not to give any spoilers but some of the dialogue during the artifact quests are also kinda cringy, especially the one for obtaining the Doomhammer. Maybe I'm just being cynical as fuck and I'm sure all of this makes complete sense in the lore, but I just find it really hard to be immersed in a world in which a complete noob can boost their character to 100 grab one of the most powerful lore weapons in the game within 15 minutes and form a stronger connection with it than Thrall who's been wielding it for years. But hey, that's just my opinion and I'm sure I'll probably get a lot of people disagree with me in the comments. Oh my god, lazy peon, have you even read all the Warcraft books you fucking mushroom? In World of Warcraft Legion, the leveling is going to be slightly different from previous expansions. There's going to be four leveling zones, each of which scale based on what level you're at, meaning you can essentially take on these zones in whichever order you like. I really like this idea because it makes leveling feel less linear and more choice of the player is always a good thing. My concern, however, is quite a small one, but will four leveling zones be enough? Out of all the previous expansions, this is the least amount of leveling zones we've ever had. In BC we had 6 leveling zones, Wrath had 7, Kata had 5, Mists had 6, and Warlords had 5. I'm just a bit worried that regardless of the fact that we can do these zones in any order, will they start to feel really repetitive when doing them for the third or fourth time on our alts? With that being said, the zones in Legion all look pretty good and offer a lot of visual diversity. I can't really talk about the questing though because I've avoided it entirely as I don't want to spoil the experience expansion for myself too much. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below though. This next concern isn't something that will affect me at all, in fact I can only see it affecting a small number of players, but it's worth mentioning nonetheless. So in World of Warcraft Legion, the new PvP system basically removes the need for separate PvP gear to exist in game, meaning that PvP and PvE gear are one in the same. 
When you zone into a battleground, for example, the stats on your gear will be nullified and you'll be given a predetermined set of stats based on your class. The only contribution gear will have to your overall power is through a small modifier based on your average item level. For every point that your average item level increases, your predetermined PvP stats will increase by 0.1%. So for example, if your item level is 50 item levels higher than your opponents, then you have a 5% power advantage over them. Now whilst this is a really small number that most of us won't care about, at the very high end of PvP, these small percentages make a big difference, and I'm worried that this will make the high rated PvP players feel forced to do high end raiding in order to feel competitive at the top level. Obviously the simple fix for this would be to only add the power modifier based on your item level to casual PvP and remove it entirely for rated PvP, so no matter what your item level is in arena, you're always totally competitive. The final concern I have for Legion, and the reason I don't want to get too hyped for this expansion, is will there be enough post-launch content? I remember being really hyped for Warlords before it was released, and at the start it looked like it'd be a pretty good expansion. It wasn't until we all realised that there was very little post-launch content coming, that it was almost universally dubbed as the worst expansion the game's ever had. I'm just worried the same thing could happen with WoW Legion. It'll probably get a really strong launch due to the hype from the Warcraft movie, and numbers will probably skyrocket for a few months. But if we then find out it's going to be another 1-2 to two patch expansion featuring a similar amount of content to patch 6.2, then I can imagine people leaving by the masses very quickly, as for many people, including myself, Legion is Blizzard's last chance to redeem themselves and show that they're still committed to the world of Warcraft. With all that being said, I really hope Legion is a good expansion. It seems like they're doing a lot to undo their mistakes from Warlords, and I'm looking forward to getting back into World of Warcraft raiding, because it doesn't seem like there's any MMO out there that has a raiding scene anywhere near as strong as WoW's. So that's it for this video guys, if you've got any concerns of your own about World of Warcraft Legion then please leave a comment below. The next WoW video I do will be looking at some more classes and zones on the alpha and that should be out within a few weeks. I hope you enjoyed the video, you take it easy and I'll see you again really soon.